season I know you will sound better than you're doing right now you need to let your neighbor know that something has shifted let your neighbor know that who they saw a few minutes ago is not who you are raise your voice you better scream you better shout are you expecting something this week let me ask you how 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 will you run around how will you shout will you scream would you celebrate somebody show the devil how big is gonna be show the devil how loud is gonna be raise your voice keep shouting like you can see it keep shouting like you know the Lord has done it somebody shout somebody shout somebody shout somebody shout give the Lord a loud shout help me walk up to 21 neighbors please give them a high ten and scream it is my new season yes sir yes sir yes sir it is my new season neighbor the doors have opened it is my new season the egyptians i saw before i will see them no more it is my new season he has enlarged the steps under me it is my new season the son of righteousness has arisen with healing in his wings it is my new season i see satan fall like lightning it is my new season for the lord has enlarged my cost it is my new season it is my new season congratulations celebrations they have come it is my new season the lord has given me a new name it is my new season the lord has put satan under my feet somebody shout somebody shout somebody shout somebody shout let your amen turn the louder lift up your right hand say right now i call forth my new season up here up here up here let your amen turn the louder please church i i really have to i want to do this that sister that testified from malawi is she is she can i see her can, can she come Where's she? Where's, where's the sister from? Malawi. Come, come. There are things I don't want them to slip by. So I'm going to ask you. I, I'm not sure I heard what you said very well. Did you say you were working as a security guard? Yes. Um, the job, initially the advert wasn't like that, but when I got the job, they were treating me as a mayor guard, and they, I was getting, like a guy, I was getting paid like a guard. So, you were working as a security guard? Yes. You were working as a security guard? Yes. I want to ask again, you were working as a security guard? Yes, Papa. So, from working as a security guard, you are now working in united nations yes how does god do this type of thing and it is because of your job that's what why you came to yes. nigeria yes so you are traveling from one country to another yes. country Opportunities. when the lord turned the game Jesus! Hey! When the Lord turned again and you said this God will not visit you and you say Ayapakata Rabadikasha whether you have faith or you do not have faith today is your last day on that level I decree rise and shine rise and shine rise and shine rise and shine 
Now stretch forth your hands towards me. Stretch forth your hands towards me. Declare my father, my father. The God that transforms at security guard to United Nations. Say, I am here. By your mighty hand, lift me from where I am to where I ought to be. Can you aim and turn that seven times? Hear me, you have not seen God yet. Amen. It's going to be from glory to glory. Amen. It's going to be from glory to glory. Amen, Baba. And you see, the greatest miracle is that anybody who says that signs and wonders should not accompany our work with God. Two persons here today, by major signs and wonders, the Lord turned their life around. Hear me, you've called upon God. You have boasted with God. You have declared the name of God. At the sound of your amen, you will not end up in shame. You will not end up in emptiness. You will not end up in emptiness. Let your amen thunder. Let the high favor of God rest upon you. Let the high favor of God rest upon you. Let a believer thunder three loud amen. of God anywhere you go to tell them I know a God who picks up a security guard lift up your two hands old season of shame old season of pain old season of delay old season of constant battles whether for you or for your children all season of running around in circles all season of struggle without evidence all the sound of your amen let it be broken right now everybody lift up your two hands let the mantle of influence that's what I hear. Mantle of influence. Mantle for thrones and crowns. At the sound of your amen, let it rest upon you. 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 Let your amen turn the louder. Your bitter tears are becoming reason for sure. I said, let the shout of joy erupt. 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 Let your amen turn. What I hear in my spirit is your joy is full. I don't know who needs to hear it. Your joy is full. 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 Let your amen turn the loudest. I announce it is done. I announce it is done. This God is good. Now, wow. Did you hear the testimony of the other brother? Came back from Australia without one dollar. Today, he's controlling millions of dollars. Sorry, eh? you know, I'm a local boy. So there's a song I want to sing, and I don't know where it came from. Do you have my key, or should I try? Oh, yeah, give me my key. Oh, Jim. <laughs> okay, let me sing. I come up to your Oh, I come
Tani won't you break out? Because I Tani won't you be God like you. I never see any 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 God like you. What can be renewed? Yes. Who wanna hear to everyone? What can be If he not shock you from an uh, listen, let me tell you this. Maybe I'm coming from a place of knowledge. I've worked for the United Nations. I knew from one rigorous interview to another rigorous interview, from this to this, when you now look at a security guard moving from there to this, oh my goodness. This kind God, oh, I never see your time. This kind God, Open your Bibles very well. People of God. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. People of God, open your Bibles to the book of Acts chapter 16. Somebody shall say, I'm ready for my new season. I want you to scream it again. Say, I'm ready for my new season. Acts chapter 16. Glory to Jesus. The devil is a bastard. Ah, yeah. Acts chapter 16. And we will start reading from verse 25. It is the custom of this house for us to rise for the reading of God's word. People of God. You see, our brother said something that he told God. He said, God, if you are the one doing these things, you will do my own. I know you are God all by yourself. We'll read Acts 16 from verse 25. And we'll read from verse 25 to verse 30. Lord, somebody declare, say, I'm ready for my new season. Um, just to give clarity and context, can we read from verse 19? Actually, the major stay would have been from verse 25 to 30. But for clarity and context from verse 19, can we read church one to go? And when her master saw that the hope of their gains was gone, they caught Paul and Silas and drew them into the marketplace unto the rulers and brought them to the magistrates saying, These men being Jews do exceedingly trouble our city and teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive, neither to observe, being Romans. 
And the multitude rose up together against them, and the magistrates rent up their clothes and commanded them to beat them. And when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison, charging the jailer to keep them safely, who, having received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the stocks. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately all the doors were open, and everyone's bands were loosed. And the keeper of the prison, awaking out of his sleep and seeing the prison doors open, he drew out his sword and would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoners had been fled. But Paul cried with a loud voice, saying, Do thyself no harm, for we are all here. Then he called for a light and sprang in and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Silas and brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Now, Father, we ask in the next few minutes that you make your word and your will known unto us. Let there be none of any man but all of you. And let a lover of the Lord thunder a louder. Amen. Amen. Lift up your right hand and declare, say, I love the word of God. It is quick and powerful, working wonders in my life. Say, I love the word of God. It creates the world by the word. If you believe it, thunder it louder. Amen. Please help me look right, left and right and tell someone next to you and tell them it is a new season for you and your family. Yes, sir. Declare it is a new season for them and their family. And if you believe that, would you just take your seat in the presence of the Lord? Glory to God. And, 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 I, and I just want to let you know that um, these are men who provoked a new season. These are men who uh, positioned and pushed up for a new season and it didn't uh, elude them as it were. And so uh, that is going to be the major, major, major thrust of um, uh, uh, this service. And uh, uh, excuse me, Pastor, how can someone posture for a new season? Uh, how can someone posture for the newness, the, uh, that season that we are talking about? And that is the reason why we are going to go through Paul and Silas because we found out that the world, the rulers, the territorial authorities as it were, pushed them into the prison uh, to make a season of bondage, create for them a season of bondage, a season of shackles. But these guys position themselves for heaven to create a new season for them. Am I communicating? And so how do I push on? Listen, people of God. As you read the scripture from verse 25, the Bible says, And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God for God to open the prison. Huh? Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises to God for God to open the prison. Huh? Let me, let me. Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God for God to open the prison. How many times have you thought that the reason why they sang praises and prayed was for the prison to open? But that's not it. These guys were doing their normal routine. They were living their life. They were allowing the Zoe life trump over their situation. Mekando Sotobala. Randaba Shakoto Baladea. Eresuko Bashade Balade. So, the attack on your prayer life is a fortification to keep you in prison. So, sir, I don't need to pray for some things. Once my devotion is intact, it will handle what I did not pray for. Mark my word again, the Bible is too complete. If Paul and Silas were praying for the prison to open, the Bible would have told us. These guys had so many other prayer points. They had too many things, you know. This is not what I will come and, and bother them. While I am focused on what matters, this door will open on their own. Am I communicating? Somebody help me shall fire. Somebody help me shall fire. So, sir, posturing and positioning yourself for a new season 
It's your doing the things that God wants you to do. Because the very things that will usher you into a new season are the same things the devil wants to use the prison to shut you from doing. So the devil touches your health. It wants your health to touch your prayer life. The devil begins to touch your finances. It wants your finances to touch your consecration. The devil. So, sir, all of these things, just know, people of God, if it is all about your health, the devil is too small. Nothing will happen to you. But the devil wants, if I touch this thing, it will touch his trust for God. If I touch this thing, it will touch his belief for God. Do your normal life in God. Sing your normal praises in God. Love God the way you've never loved him before. Don't let anything make you wake up one morning and say, you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to pray again. You don't say, yes. <laughs> Did I say it? Did I say it? Because the devil knows if I touch this area, I will affect. These guys were in the prison. Their prayer point was not for the prison door to open. But sir, the more I talk to God, there's no way I can be in prison. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. You mean after I have served God, my nekorasa, lebi anakoshadaba. People of God, I want you to dress like you are not in prison. I want you to raise your hand like you are not in prison. I want you to shout like nothing is wrong. I want you to live like there's nothing wrong. People of God, save your Jesus like there is nothing wrong. The doors will open on their own accord. Take your seat for one second. Let me tell you something. There are issues the devil will bring around you. Eh? He wants to bring it to you to become a distracting prayer point. Season you are supposed to be birthing something heavy. The devil will now give you one-sided headache and make it a prayer point. Ah, this is a Pastor, I can't even do my head left. I can't even do my head right. You know, and the devil will tell you, you see this headache you are looking at right now? You see this headache? Um, I'm suspecting two more. I'm suspecting two more. In fact, the way it is, it looks like it's that tumor that goes to the back and goes to the front. You know, and, and then you are now the father, every tumor, every... And the Lord say, in this season of your life, you are praying the wrong prayer. You don't have tumor. This is the season to call for the things which be not as though they were. Don't start praying prayers that have no bearing to your future. The prayers you are praying are out of fear. The prayers you are praying is the devil that gave you a prayer point. But right now, I'm giving you a burden to bet the next 20 years. I'm giving you a burden to organize your children's life for the next 15 years. You are busy getting distracted with useless prayer point that has nothing to do with your future. Somebody help me shout fire. Paul and Silas were in the prison. The Bible did not tell us that they were singing and praying for the prison door to open. People of God, ignore the devil and make him look like a fool. People of God, ignore the devil. People of God, when the devil brings a prison situation, that time change up. Lord, I begin to bless your name. I bless your name for the massive harvest of souls around the world. People will come and give their lives. Hallelujah. Lord, if you're looking for a prayer point, let me give you NSPPD America Conference. Father, it shall be, it shall be glorious because people will walk. The blind will see. He so mightily will grow the word of God that it will prevail. If you know the devil too much, you say, eh, let me try somebody else. This one's self, eh? Can't you see you are in prison? And you tell yourself, my destiny is not prison. <laughs> so I'm going to come out. So, but this prison will not make me change my prayer point. There's a journey ahead of me who be prison. Part of my prophecy, prison was not there. I'm not going to break my head about it. Devil, you are a liar. He caused I and the children the Lord has given to me. We are for signs and wonders. Am I communicating?
communicating. Paul and Silas were in prison. They prayed and sang. Let me make you understand. They didn't just pray and sang in Acts chapter 16 as a response to situation. Even when they were not in prisons, these guys were still praying. So, this is not just because we're in the prison. You know how that can, how you become a prayer warrior because you have a, you have a problem. That's how some of us, you have a, oh, Father, no, 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 no midnight prayer, no midnight, no, 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 no. Prayer is a lifestyle. Whether there is a, a problem or not, uh, once 1230 is reaching one, you rise on your feet. I don't need to have a problem. When I don't remember anything to pray about, I speak in the Holy Ghost. When I'm done speaking in the Holy Ghost, I remember my neighbors. I begin to speak life into this. I remember I set things right. I'm a believer, not because of bread and butter. I'm a believer, not because of God will do this, God will do. I've been raised as a savior. I've been raised to deliver men and women. This is my assignment. This is my mandate. This is what I live for. And so, Paul and Silas, we are not praying. Praying, we are not singing for the door to open. Will the prison doors open? Yes. Is it the reason why I'm praying and singing? No. Because if you look at the trajectory, these guys have been praying and singing since. But we have been taught in Sunday school that the reason why they were praying and singing was for the prison doors to open. But people of God man, what just happened is that these guys carry their atmosphere wherever they go to. How to posture yourself for a new season. Carry your atmosphere. Did you hear what I just said? You walk into an office for an interview. You lift, you left your atmosphere behind. No. Don't do that. Can you atmosphere? Anywhere you get into Makalasha, Rebecca Toloba, Rabadeko Shabadia, anywhere you go to, you get into another city, carry your atmosphere. You are having a go carry your anywhere you go to, carry your atmosphere. Am I communicating? Ayaba Shadibala Koto. So, sir, these guys carry the atmosphere inside the prison. Am I communicating? And people of God, I want you to know. One of the ways you posture yourself for a new season. Always understand that you owe yourself one responsibility. Move against the trend. Move against the tide. Move against the reaction the devil wants you to have. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Every single thing the devil wants you to say, say the opposite. Every single thing the devil wants you to feel, feel the opposite. In everything, I'm not going to say it. God is good. God is good. God is good. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord delivered him from them all. For the son of righteousness has a reason with the healing in his ways. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say, sir, these people, if you found yourself in this prison, honestly, what will you say? I'm asking you people that are looking at me. If you found yourself in this prison, they carried you. First of all, before they put you in the prison, they don't beat you well. They don't beat you, beat you well. Come out your teeth. Is it uh, because the Bible did not include that they, they come out their teeth? They, 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 I mean, that's what it is. If they come out their teeth that time, and I'm saying it now, it is uh, come out. Uh, so, so, is it because the Bible didn't? They beat them very well, and then put them in the prison. A whole poor. A hope on, a hope on, managa, managa, and then only for him to get into the prison. This should have been a time for depression. Lord, see, I prayed, oh, Lord, this is for you. See the way I'm suffering because of you, God. Why will I? Nah, nah. Anything you want me to say, I will say exactly the opposite. I will say the opposite. At the Koba Shada. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Over whom shall I be afraid? I will say the opposite. 
Am I communicating? Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, say the opposite. You know, every time people meet you and they ask you, how is that your? How is that your liver problem? How is that your kidney issue? How is that your hypertension? I, how is that my, my, my own? Can never be my own. Say, say that I uh, know. Uh, no. Say exactly the opposite. By his stripes, I did. Doctor, what I'm here today is to check my healing. I'm not here to get more bad report. I'm here to check my healing because I know it's already done. The steps of a good man is like a shiny light and it shines brighter. Meanwhile, they had already given you a letter of rejection. They have already said to you, no, this stuff so on. <laughs> it's like a shiny light. It shines brighter. And somebody comes to you and tells you, hey, yeah, I'm sorry about what happened. No, 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 no. No. The Bible says, say to the righteous, it shall be well with him. I said, no, change what you're saying. Don't tell me sorry. Just tell me it is well with me. That's all I want. I don't want to hear sorry in my ear. I don't, no, no, no. Don't create wrong atmosphere around me. Am I, am I communicating? People of God, remember, we are spiritual rebels. We are, we are raised to rebel against the cosmos. We have been raised to rebel against the yeah, people of God. On Thursday, I was telling God's people, I said, what is, whatsoever that is born of God overcometh the world. World, what is world? Cosmos. Cosmos is the orderly arrangement of the world. Everything has been arranged. Medicine is arranged. Architecture is arranged. Uh, finances is arranged. And the, the, and the world has systems that institutionalizes this arrangement. And the Lord said, when you are born of God, you are over and above this orderly arrangement. So what it means is that if you are coming to destroy arrangement, that means you are a rebel. You are a rebel. You see, when you find two more here, it progresses to this, it progresses to that, it progresses to that. Spiritual rebel. <laughs> Even though you found two more, all of these things that you say it progressed to, it progressed to, it progressed to, it is not my. You know, if it stays for more than seven years, it means this. No, sir. This thing that you are saying is not what it means. Am I communicating? The righteous is as bold as hell. When you become restless, you will break the yoke off your neck. People of God, the Bible says as they were singing and as they were praying, the Bible says there was a mighty earthquake. Time will fail me to take you from one scripture to another. Earthquakes, especially when it has to do with the things of the supernatural, is usually God's response to a prayer on earth. People of God, earth is shaking when heaven has also been shaking. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. So people of God, you would recall that when that angel that took, that came with a censer, which much incense was added to it. I'm talking about in the book of Revelation. People of God. And then with the prayers of the saints. And took some fire from the altar. And then put it to the censer. And threw it upon the earth. You remember at this point. That there were lightnings. There were voices. There were thunderings. And earthquake. Are you getting what I'm saying? So whenever heaven has been touched. The response is earthquake. Make no mistakes about it. Earthquake in the sense of not just causing a tremor on earth, but earthquake in targeting foundations. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Seasons will not change until some foundations are broken. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Foundations that held your mother held your father, gave them a time. Now, people of God, these foundations do not even have to be my, your father's house foundation. People of God, there are systems, I mean, it will take you five years to move from here to here. It will take you seven years to move from here to, with a loud voice, somebody shall say, break. 
I, I'm not sure that you heard me. Can you turn very loud and shout break? Can you scream it louder? Can you shout break? Can you turn very loud and shout break? Can you scream it louder? Turn the break. Let me hear you scream it better. Shout break. And so, people of God, heaven begins to respond because somebody karabota shadabali adaba rendebe. What you send to heaven will determine how the earth will quake. If heaven looks at your deposit for it quick, is it withdrawable for heaven to shake the earth? You wish, Lord, let there be it quick. Lord, quick the earth. Use my business to quick the earth. Heaven says, let's check his deposit. What has he deposited? Empty prayer life. What has he deposited? Spiritual laziness. What has he deposited? Sitting down with the friends, chilling and Netflixing. What has he deposited? Spend the last two hours gossiping about those that I have blessed. What has he deposited? And the devil say, ah, we can't withdraw anything that can quit the earth. We can't withdraw anything that can quit the earth. Nekolo Shada. People of God, you may not know what you're doing. It might be 15 minutes in the morning. Send some things up. Rabba de Kosha Pata Bala. The day it will quick. The day it will quick. Take my word for it. The day it will quick. You say, Jesus. Jesus, what happened? And the Lord will say, You don't know what you were releasing. Release some 15 minutes here. Go to God, speak, speak, speak scripture here. People of God, when you come back home, wherever it is, anoint your house, anoint yourself. You are your own prophet. Anoint your, pray the mantle you're using on the next people, put it upon your head. Make some declaration. Another, be sending some things up. Karadaba, shall the cloud be full of rain? Ereto soko palada shada, arabala, and will not empty itself. People of God, you don't know what you're doing. You are sending some things up. It will quake. It will quake. It will quake. My question is, why wasn't there an earthquake before they sang and prayed? Something has gone up to heaven. And heaven said, you know what? Something must shake on earth. Am I, am I communicating? Mekoro Sada, keep sending it. Keep sending it. Some of as you, you, you're cooking and you are not sending anything into heaven. No, no, no. Change that your pattern. Change that your pattern. As you're turning that soup and you're turning my kalado shabada. Hey! Glory! And they're asking you what is going on. People, no, I don't moment. Let them know I'm sending something. I'm sending something. Is my, my cloud is getting full. Am I communicating? I'm sending something. Things are happening. Prayers of yesterday. Things that you, you know, some of you are living in the answers of the prayers that you made three years ago, four years ago, five years ago. So start making. That's why I'm so excited about NSPPD tomorrow. The one that we used to pray into 20 years, pray into 30 years, pray into 40 years of our life, pray into the next 50 years of our life. So anything you're doing, don't let the devil cheat you out of tomorrow because it's going to be very strategic. So these guys were releasing. And by the time you know what's happening, all doors were open. People of God, access into new seasons come through doors. Are you getting what I'm saying? Make no mistakes about it. Access into new seasons. Come through doors. Can I shock you? The biggest door the Lord can give you is the gift of a person. The biggest door the Lord can give you is a person. There are doors you cannot access until some people come into your life. Let me shock you. There are doors that will close if some people walk away from your life. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. 
there are doors. People, don't make mistakes. Don't ever in this life tell yourself, who is this person? Who is this? Who is that one? Who is, who? I've told you the story of an old woman many years ago. A church experienced signs and wonders. The church was seeing manifestations of God's power like never before. And there was an old woman who led all her life interceding for the man of God. That was only what she did in intercession for the man of God. As soon as that woman died, everything went down. And the man of God goes to ask God, God, what is going on? And the Lord told her, that woman, neglected old woman, is the one that has held up in intercession. Am I communicating? People of God, let when you want to withdraw from heaven, let it be you have sent so much. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Don't listen. If it were not, I, I, you know, scriptures will talk about laboring in prayers. There are things that you labor, there are things that you do, there are things that you burnt and you lay up the Bible, see a good man out of the treasures of his heart and leave it an inheritance for his children from his heart, from his heart, not from his hands. So people of God, I pray as your amen will thunder. May God send you men that are doors. Your amen is too weak for this declaration. From the four corners of the earth, I decree and declare, may God send you men that are doors. 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 May God send you women that are doors. Let your amen turn the louder. Let your amen turn the louder. Let your amen turn the louder. Let your amen rise higher. Take your seat. And I need to say this. People of God, I want you to know that when they sang, the doors were open. Right? The doors were open. But they were still bound. Everyone's bound. Were, I'm not talking about being shackled. They were by law still supposed to remain in the prison. But the jailer, the jailer needed to align for them to be brought out. It is called a turnaround. This was the same jailer that threw them in. It was now the same jailer that was bringing them out. And the jailer came with a question, Sars, what must I do to be saved? Sir, if it doesn't end up with advancement of the kingdom, you might still be where you are for a long time. It ended up with the jailer asking, what must I do to be saved? So after all this serenity, these guys are not coming out saying you talk away your everyday people. Don't you know there are some folks you don't touch like that? You don't mess around with people who got oil on their heads. You don't think you will wake up one morning and lock us up for nothing? Do you think that we look like a, a chip of the old block? But sir, it ended up in sars. What must I do to be saved? Let it be. Every new season you are asking, say God. See, the kingdom will not suffer. The, the, if you anything you put, if you Lord, one thing you can be sure is that I will uphold the banner of the Lord. I am not asking to be married so as to intimidate others. I'm not asking for this to happen. You know, there are things that we look at and, and when God opens doors for some people, we say, Shai, this person used to be a good Christian. No. What happened? Let it be. Lord, you see, in this season, I will uphold your kingdom. They may not know me for anything, but they will know me that every opportunity I, I, I had, I used it to talk about God. 
I use it to talk about your kingdom. I use it to propagate the essence, people of God. I want you to know there's a new season coming, but make it all about the kingdom. Did I bless somebody? Would you rise on your feet wherever you are? Would you lift up your two hands to God? I decree the hand of the Lord is upon you. The grace of God speaks over your life. I wish your amen were thunder louder. I don't know, but there will be no gas explosion on anybody's house this week. I announce, let what the enemy meant for evil, let it turn around for good right now. Let it turn around for good right now. The tumor on your neck you are afraid of, I command, let it melt right now. I say, let it melt right now. I say, let it melt right now. I say, let it melt right now. That suffocation you feel in your dream every night, I announce, let it be broken by fire. Let it be broken by fire. Let it be broken by fire. I don't even understand what this fully means. The Lord is saying corrupted bloodline. Corrupted bloodline. By the blood of Jesus, I decree, let every corrupted bloodline be cleansed right now. Let it 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 be cleansed right now. Let your amen thunder louder. The keys of nations are being released right now. Take your own. Take your own. Take your own. Take your own. Let your amen thunder louder. Would you put together your offerings, your tithes, and your partnership? In streams of joy, we stand to give to God because we are on giving to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So would you put together your offerings, your tithe, and your partnership? For what our great God cannot do, put together your offerings, your tithe, and your partnership. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And the Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand till I make all your enemies. <laughs> your footstool. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. For what our God cannot do, what our God cannot turn around. Would you make it a wave offering? Make it a wave of your offerings, your tithes, and your partnership. You're offering your tithes and your partnership. Let the blessings of those who have honored God with their offerings, their tithes, and their partnership be your portion. I decree that the devil is rebuked for your sake. The windows of heaven are opened and blessings poured out that there will not be room enough to contain. I decree it is done. I decree it is done. I decree it is done. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen and amen.